Hey everyone, this is Dankies. A lot of you have been asking me about uh, gathering and the best way to gather, and I have a treat for you. Our guild chef, Moon, who basically makes the guild food, he has a pretty sweet gathering route that he was kind enough to share with me, so I am going to record it, and hopefully you guys will be able to use this to make a lot of truffle steaks, which are going up in price at the moment. So, without further ado, let's get started. This gathering tour starts in Brisbane Wildlands at the Gallowfields Waypoint. We'll go here, this is where we'll hit our main iron nodes. There's a nice rich iron node that uh, you can get around 10 gathers from. Uh, if you're lucky, there should be a survey banner somewhere around in this area, which people drop. But, um, sometimes a node up here. If you look on my map, there's usually a node right here where my cursor is pointing. But coming from the waypoint, just go straight this way, southwest. I'll come to this little crook area. We can drop down on this stump. We can hit this rich iron vein. Oh, see, here's the gathering banner. You usually want to hit any iron nodes that are in this area. This iron's pretty expensive, and it's used for crafting the set of materials, which is good. It's always good to have it on hand. Alright, once we gather the iron, we get to go to Timberline Falls. I usually click this to read waypoint, but it's almost always contested, so it'll push us down to the waypoint underneath. Yeah, let's see. So the waypoint is Valen's tutory waypoint, which is it's okay because as we're running up we can hit a couple platinum nodes. Platinum's good. Um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be used in a um, in the legendary crafting. Um, it's just speculation though. Sometimes just planting them across the river here, over here. I'm lucky and I have a rich platinum vein in this area. There are three rich platinum veins that can spawn on in this like circular area right here. One right here. Oh sorry, only two, my bad. One right here and then one in this cave. Okay, let's go real quick. like me you have to uh have to replace your mining tools every now and then. Cause this is a an, an alternate character that I don't have hardly equipped. Get some snow truffles and butternut squash, or squash plants. Butternut squash plants? I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, it's in Frost Gorge Sound. This bottom waypoint, Ardoin's waypoint. From here, we'll travel north. Uh, now the mega servers make uh, remembering some of these locations kind of hard because. There, I don't know, there's like 12, 16 servers that you can rotate through. So sometimes there's a snow travel here. And 
this area. These butternut squashes that we're about to hit are always here. Uh, they're really good. This guy here, is, he knows what's up. Usually there's Grawl spawned around here, so you want to kill him. Generally in this whole area over here, there are snow truffle spawn chances. Also disclaimer, this isn't supposed to be like the fastest route, and I haven't calculated optimal routes between nodes and stuff. Um, sometimes there's two truffles that spawn right here. By this tree. they're not over here, we can go ahead and hit this waypoint up top. Pest Earthshake waypoint. Well, if you're lucky, there can be three things here. There could be either Aura Calcamore, Ancient Sapling, or there'll be a Snow Truffle by this tree. Sometimes there'll be a snow truffle up here by this pass. But right now there's a snow truffle over here to our left. So since I did an earlier gathering route on one of my other characters as a rehearsal, I know there isn't anything left on this map to gather, but I'll show you um, where the other potential spots are. So like there could possibly be some Oracalcum or ancient saplings in this little area up here. So on a side note, this is where Jormax spawns. Um, another snow truffle can be down here or over here. And there's an ancient side effect, so I'm gonna grab this. There could be a truffle down there in that valley, but uh, not. It's pretty uncommon. Down with Frost Gorge Sound. We're going to pop on down to Streets of Devastation to Plinth Timberland Waypoint. And in this map, we'll be gathering clusters of herbs and cayenne peppers. Now, these clusters of herbs have a chance of giving you lemongrass, which is used in World vs. World, and it's incredible, incredibly uh, expensive. So if you get it, it's definitely worth keeping on, holding on to, or selling. Maybe I'll get lucky and grab some. These cayenne peppers are about as uh, expensive as Omnom berries. Just about three silver, three, four silver hovers around. Say 15 silver a pop. It's expensive. Alright, since there are, usually there will be three or so in this area, and 
not today. So we can just teleport straight to Thornfast Waypoint. Keep running down this uh, right side. Sometimes you're lucky there will be three clusters of herbs in this old nook. I only got one today. Alright, once we're finished here, pop on over to what's this place called? Macro Sleep. Paga's waypoint. This map will have some Ori Calcum, Omnum berries, Orion truffles, which is the second ingredient to the truffle steaks. And we'll also get some um well, not elder wood, but the wood underneath it, T5 wood. Because it's a chance to get foxfire clusters, which uh, sell decently on the trading post, so might as well have a chance to get that. Elder wood log. I was right the first time. Trust your gut. Everyone's here. This is the best place. Two, three, five wood spawns. It's like free money. And it's Guild Wars 2 music is creepy. Scouting, I kind of know that there are some om noms over here. So, if you know that there's stuff over here, you can just run straight through and take that route. Or, if it's your first time through, waypoint to lights waypoint. Go up for the Aura Calcum, double back down, and do something like this. And that's kind of how I do it, and so I'll show you. I know there's no Aura Calcum, but. If there was, it would be like right over here. Gather it. Sometimes there's a snow truffle or an orient truffle in this cave. Not today, though.
little building over here usually has something in it. So yeah, it has a ghost pepper, truffle, and ghost pepper. Nice. Gather. Ooh, another bonus gather. Sweet. Six truffles. Five truffles. Such might. Skip that green sapling. I'm not going to get that ghost pepper. And that's it for Straits of Devastation, or Malkor's Leap, sorry. And the last map I'll go to is Cursed Shore. We'll waypoint to Shelter's Gate. Waypoint. We'll start running south. Concentration of the truffles are in this little area over here. Spread out somewhere in a different like arrangement. If I get enough demand, I'll take uh, screenshots of the maps and draw lines on the, the routes, but I won't do it unless people want it. This uh, shore line here and uh, check out anything. Usually there could be some Morian samplings or oh, we got a truffle up here, nice. Usually there is an Ori Calcum down here on this coast, and maybe another truffle, but this is usually the end of the gathering route. If you get lucky, there you can waypoint down here to Meddler's Waypoint, and there'll be stuff on the way. My crocus doesn't work. 
And these last ones hit or miss, basically. Um, sometimes it can be a really nice spawn down here. And the Omnum berries and Orient Truffles, but... I've already run this map and I know that there isn't, but I'll take you through. Be around here. All the way down. There is an orange sapling today, though. about down here. So that basically concludes the uh, gathering tour. This is what we reaped. 18 iron, 28 platinum. This is a decent platinum haul. 18 butternut squashes. Seeds. Eh. Cayenne pepper. Lemongrass is the most expensive. Thirteen orange truffles. That was a good haul. So basically, yeah. Yeah, that usually adds up over a couple characters if you do that with, you know, eight characters, that's close to almost 50 apiece. Well, not the snow truffles, but you guys get what I mean. And so you run that daily on your account, and then multiple characters, and over time, you know, over a week or so, two weeks, you'll have a decent stack. You can sell this stuff for a lot of money. Yeah. Hope you guys learned something today from this video, and uh, if you like it, let me know. If you don't, leave a comment telling me why. See you next time.